All right, now I'm ready. Let's talk about vegan dogs. Okay, now look, this is going to be a very sensitive topic. When you're talking about veganism, man, people go crazy. Pet owners call it literally animal abuse. Would I make my dog or cat vegan? Now look, there's a thousand issues here today. I can't just narrow them all down in one because there's a topic of ethics and what's happening today with factory farming and the abuse of animals all over the world. No question. But let me just try to address this as quick as I can. First, let me give you a little bit of a history on what's happening today and why you're seeing more and more of these debates breaking out. Okay. There's two generals here leading the charge. The first, Dr. Richard Pitcairn. This man they call the father of homeopathy. The second is Dr. Ian Billinghurst. All the way from Australia, this man is called the father of the raw food movement. One will tell you that feeding vegetables, grains, and soy will be optimal nutrition for a pet. The other will tell you that plant-based material is important, but a lot of meat is important for a pet. Where do I fall in this giant debate? Well, I kind of fall right down the middle. Although I use both men's philosophies, I use primarily more meat than I do vegetables, but I focus on balance. Balance, the Karen Becker philosophy. I don't think solely meat can cut it and I don't think solely vegetables can cut it. I really think you need the best of both worlds here. So, would I make my dogs or cat vegan? The answer is absolutely not. There's some very short studies out there, but nothing big. A lot of people today that are on these vegan movements are feeding high starch diets. I mean, literally these, they're off the chart. Astronomical numbers of starch in these bags. Let me give you a couple of examples here. But when it comes to cancer, trying to get those tumors to shrink down with that amount of starch and sugar that's in some of these bags of processed food will be very difficult. This is the reason why I wouldn't do it. I want my dogs to live a very long time. Okay, so I'm up early, I'm editing, I'm trying to get this video out as quick as I can for you guys, but this morning Facebook tells me that there's an accomplishment and I just wanna show my appreciation. This time last year I had 400,000 subscribers and today almost 1.4 million. So it's a million new subscribers in a year. Thank you so much for supporting me and sharing my message. Okay, back to the video and back to editing. Okay, I love this next question. Now this comes to me after one of the blogs I wrote quite recently about how long does kibble actually last for? Nobody knows the answer because no manufacturer wants to do the study because they don't want to find out exactly how long it can last because they're in fear that it's only going to be a short period of time. Let me tell you why. When talking with pet food formulator Steve Brown, I mean this guy's world renowned. See this tiny little piece of kibble right here? This is preserved with what they call mixed tocopherols. Vitamin C, vitamin E, sometimes I'll put a little bit of rosemary and they try to keep this little bad boy sealed together. Now the problem is, the second that you open up this bag and oxygen starts to go inside the bag, it starts to degrade, oxidize. Things start to break down in here. There are very, very sensitive oils to oxygen. Now when you go into a pet store, sometimes somebody will upsell you and sell you a big giant bag of food if you're going home, if you're feeding processed food. Of course, I always recommend feeding fresh food. But if you've got to feed processed food because of cost efficiency or you don't have any money, you're off the hook. If you are going to buy a bag that you think is gonna last longer than 14 days, then for the love of God, put it in the freezer. It will hold the oils together. When speaking with world formulator Steve Brown, he said that seven to 14 days is the max that you're gonna get out of something like this. And in fact, if a manufacturer tells you differently, ask them for a study. Right now, there's just no data out there. So don't take the chance on feeding oxidized foods or rancid fats, just put it in the freezer. Now for everyone's favorite part of my blogs, the giveaway. This is going to be exciting. Check it out. Literally today, there's dogs all around the world that are suffering with yeasty paws, literally biting at their paws all the time. They've got an abundance of bacteria in their paws and they need some relief. Okay, so I'm working with a local soap maker in my province and we are literally trying to design with essential oils and some beautiful ingredients, a foot soak for dogs, lavender, tea tree oil, witch hazel, jojoba, and a whole bunch of essential oils all packed together in this tiny little ball right here. Literally, you just take this, you drop it into a bowl, you add some water, fizzes up, a couple cups, and you can dip your dog's feet into these. In fact, you could even drop it into a bathtub to help out a dog and just soak them in a bathtub, but it will get rid of yeast, it will soothe the animal's skin, it will really help with those dogs that need this type of soap. So I went in this week to pick up some of these soaps from Colleen. Check out how cool their shop is. So 
as you can see, she gave me a whole bunch of stuff to give away to you guys. So she gave me like a whole bunch of these like really cool soaps. What the heck? Le so literally, I've got like bags and bags of stuff that she's given me to give back to you guys. A lot of these soaps are going to help. Help some of the situations that your pets might be having or that you might be having yourself. So guys, just like every week, just leave a comment in the comment section. Say how you felt about the episode or if you have a question that you want to ask, we'll randomly go in, pull your name out, do a draw. Each and every single week, I know a lot of you head on over to my personal page and you leave beautiful comments and you show all these great gifts. Thank you so much for that. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week. Hopefully next week I can get to more of your questions. In the meantime, enjoy your week and go play with your dogs. Reg, I swear to God, you can have this giant bag of greenlit muscle if you do me a favor.